Welcome back. Today I am going to show you a tested and free method to reboot any iPhone or iPad model into recovery mode without hardware buttons using a one-click tool. Let's begin. Let's start off by launching any web browser and type exactly what I am typing, which is iDescriptor GitHub. On the search results page, click on the first link or simply refer to the link in this video's description. This tool is open source and a good alternative to tools like iTunes, Apple devices, iMazing, and even 3U tools to some extent. For this demonstration, I will use my Windows computer. But it's compatible to different operating systems like Linux, Mac OS, Windows, and also for Arch Linux users. To download the iDescriptor tool, navigate to the Releases section. Under the Assets section, download as per your operating system. In my case, I will download the MSI file for my Windows computer. Once the same is downloaded, simply install and set up iDescriptor tool, just like any other program. Next, if you get this pop-up, tap on More Info and click on Run Anyway. Meanwhile, I would appreciate if you could subscribe to my channel and like and hype this video. Once installed successfully, search the tool manually if iDescriptor does not launch automatically and then launch the same. This is the user interface of iDescriptor. Now connect your iOS device to the computer. And if it does not detect your iOS device, you can refer to this video, link will be in description. As you can see here, my device is detected successfully. So, to reboot to recovery mode, click on the toolbox section. Scroll down, and here you will get the recovery mode option. Just one click, and the device will be booted to the recovery mode instantly, without any hardware keys, for any iOS device model. And now if notice here, it says that one device is connected, indicating that it still recognizes the iOS device, in recovery state as well. And now, to exit out of the recovery mode, click on the iDevice section, simply click on Exit Recovery Mode, and your iOS device will be rebooted successfully. I hope you find this video help, so please do subscribe to my channel, and if you want to install iPadOS on your iOS device, watch my next video.